first two. We're coming back with another first two baits post spawn, immediate post spawn. Now there are about 40 different lures that get really good in that immediate post spawn. And some of it's, it depends on the types of lakes that you're fishing. Uh, and I'll, I'll kind of have, I have my one and two, but I have my one, one A and B and my two A and B. And I'll kind of explain what I mean by that. Uh, so number one, I'm gonna have to go with a drop shot. I like a Texas rig drop shot, just like this right here. I'm gonna be pitching this around any kind of shoreline cover and 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 the first piece of structure that I come to leaving the spawning pocket. So like if I'm in a spawning pocket like this, the first piece of structure, whether it's a dock or whether it's a brush pile or a shallow stump, I'm gonna pitch this drop shot around all that kind of cover. And so immediate post spawn, remember there's probably still some bass fry hanging around. Those, all those male bass are defending the fry. That's what they do. That's their job. They have signed up for it. They, they don't have an option. They defend the fry. So a drop shot up off the bottom is a really, really good option. Um, they're spooky during the post spawn. So try to make longer pitches or longer casts with your drop shot. And um, that's that's probably my number one right there. I'm gonna go with a cash and, cash and drop shot rod, absolutely. And probably like a 10, eight or 10 pound Sunline Sniper leader. And then, you know, this is a little Missile Baits Magic Worm coming soon. Um, but any type of good finesse worm is gonna be, I like the Texas rig because around the bank, I'm gonna be pitching near uh, near cover or around laydowns, things like that. That's where those fry are going to go to. Any you know clumps of grass, things like that. I'm going to pitch that drop shot around that cover because uh, there's probably going to be some fry nearby. And if there's not fry nearby, there still may be one of those male bass still in that defensive mood. So that's why the drop shot probably my number one. One A, one B is probably the same type of worm, but in an echo rig. Uh, with a really light weight, like a 132nd, 16th maybe. I want something that's falling slowly in the water column. Post-spawn, they like slow fall. Remember, slow fall in the post-spawn. But if you don't want to throw slow fall in the post-spawn, then you'd probably like my number two of the first two baits. And we're going top water, baby. That's right. It's a new spro bait, but man, I love I love a vixen. I love a zero spook. I love any type of walking top water baits. Poppers can be very good in that immediate post spawn. This is my one A, especially for lakes like this that don't have a lot of shoreline cover. You can cover water. You're gonna fish the secondary points. You can go down the bank. You can throw around the docks. And you're going to walk that top water bait and uh, listen to that thing knock and see it walking right there and they will come up and crush the top water bait immediate post spawn in most lakes there is a shad spawn going on or an alewife spawn some type of bait fish spawn going on at night those fish are programmed at feeding up feeding on shad so this type of any kind of shad colored top water bait is definitely going to get my call uh, i usually throw it on braided line you know 30 to 50 pound sunline braid uh, sometimes i'll put a little mono leader on there with 20 pound test uh, just to help keep the front of the bait up a little bit more you don't necessarily have to uh, but then you know cash in seven foot rod you don't want to go too long on that that walking bait um, because you want to be able to control it and let that thing just walk and spit and, and have a lot of chaos on the surface so it can get crushed. Okay, so my one or my two B, if you got a lot of shoreline grass, this can be good, but I'll be hard pressed not to pick up my Spro Frog. I mean, either the Popper or the regular Bronze Eye, that's my B, that'll be my B. So I'm kind of cheating here. It's not my first two, it's kind of like my first two A and B, but okay, here we go. That, that frog, I've caught so many fish on it in that immediate post spawn when those fish are around shallow grass you know that um, that bank grass the willow grass 
that kind of Coosa River grass if you're in Alabama, man, my frog is going to be like a magnet around, over, and in that stuff from sun up to sundown, baby. Uh, that that frog is is definitely going to be one of my choices. And if things get a little bit tough, or I'm having a hard time, or they're missing it, I can follow back up with that drop shot, pitch it around there. So that's my first two baits for immediate post spawn. If you have any other different baits, like I said, there's a bunch of good ones. I want to hear what you throw and why down there in the comments. So I appreciate everybody watching.